Hi there, I'm Shameless Trouble and today I'm going to talk about making our camps wireless. Let's get rid of those unsightly wires and hide the generators. First, let's talk a little bit about the electricity requirements on our camp items. This is the vendor. In the upper right hand corner, you can see where it says requires and the electric bolt and then number three. That means that it needs to be connected to a generator that has, that produces at least three, whatever um, they call it, volts. I don't know what they're using as a unit of measurement, but three of them. <laughs> and the resources, see this has, requires electricity 10. So that requires you to be directly connected to a generator that produces 10. But if you look at this light, it says requires an electric bolt. It doesn't have a number by it. So that means it doesn't have to be directly connected to a wire. Most of the items are that way. I'm sure most of you already know this already, but I just wanted to go over it for those that don't. If you've watched any of my camp videos, hopefully you noticed that you don't see any wires. Basically, I hide all of my generators and connect the conduit to them so it produces a wireless effect. Let me show you in this house where I have generators. Okay, in my stove, I put one in there. This is gonna look a little weird because I'm going into something. But see, there's one right there in the conduit. I have one in the floor here. I have one in this dresser. It didn't fit all the way in, so you can see the conduit. Um, I have one in the fireplace. And I have one outside my workbench area in the stash box. Okay, and I have one over here in this resource. You can see that it's connected, but I hide the generator, so at least I can get rid of some of it. All right, I'm going to show you how to do these. When I'm making wireless electricity, I like to use this generator here. I use it because it's the smallest generator and it makes it easy to hide. If you don't have this, you can use one of the other ones. Or if you want to get it, I will put the directions on how to buy it from Bethesda in the description. Okay, then you want to use one of your conduits. And depending on what you're going to put it in, you can put it on top, or you can put them on the sides, or wherever you need to put it. For this one, I'm going to put it on top. And then I'm going to connect it to the generator. Now, that's a wireless hub. It will power anything on this platform. And it powers anything one floor up and one floor down. So as you can see, this one generator gives you a whole lot of electricity. Now that's all well and good, but you don't want a generator sitting in the middle of your living room. So, to hide it in the floor, you need to merge it into the flooring. I do this, I just grab the living room floor and connect it to a, another piece of foundation. Now, to keep the um, connection, this wire connected to the conduit and the generator, you want to move the generator a few times and then put it in the center. I honestly don't know why, but I know that if you don't do that, a lot of the times you end up losing your, um, losing the connection and you lost your power. Okay, to merge it into the flooring, you need to put this floor behind your back and then 
click X on this floor and bring it down and hit X again and oh, let me do it one more time. inside now if you go if you bring your cam inside you can see that the lights still on so it still has electricity now just put the floor back into your living room and everything on this platform has electricity you go to lights and put them over here and voila it has electricity there are some times that you can't put the generators into the floor. Um, like in this house here, these pieces of flooring, see how they're, they overlap each other? So I can't take them out and put them back because they won't go back in. And same with the corners, they overlap other pieces. So on those pieces, you can't have your generator in the floor, so you need it to hide it somewhere. Perfect place for it, it's in a fireplace. I'm going to show you how to merge your generator into that too. Now I'm going to put out the fireplace. It can be any of the fireplaces or anything that is big enough to hide the generator. And I'm going to put the generator on top. And the power connector. And connect them. The reason that I put the generator on top of it instead of putting it here and moving it, let me show you. Sometimes when you're moving it, it thinks it's intersecting. See the wire? It's, it's wire stays down here. And now it feels like it's intersecting, so you can't put it on the fireplace. So if you can, don't connect the conduit and the generator until you have it in, in this place that you wanted to have it on. So I'm just going to delete the wire and move it back up to the fireplace and connect it here. Okay, and now you just merge the um, generator into the fireplace. There's one thing you need to see as you're merging. Once the wire gets into the item that you're merging it to, it starts getting tricky and you have to move the item around on the um, pressure plate to get it to go down. So let's just merge. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. So hopefully it happens and I can show you what I mean. there. See, it, nothing changed, but now all of a sudden it turns red and it won't let me merge anymore. So you just move it around until you get green. And you probably have to do this from the rest of the, rest of the time until it's hidden in the fireplace. There. Now, wherever you set your fireplace is your wireless hub and the squares around it will be will have power. So I can put a light out here and it has power. Now on those items that needs a connected generator, Sometimes you can still hide the generator in that item. 
like the vending machine. So grab the vending machine, get over to your pressure plate. And put your generator on as far back as you can get it. As you, when you merge it down, you want it to be inside the vending machine. And there you go. Now you have. And the last variation I'm going to talk about about hiding your generators is when you can't put your generator inside the item, like a mineral extractor, and it still needs to be connected, but you want to hide the generator. As you can see, I have the spike trap here. If I repair it, there's a hidden generator. Now let me show you how to do that. Okay, the spike board is in turrets of traps, and there's two of them. There's this one, and then there's one that's three over. You want the one that's three over. The first one, when the spike board um, is, um, is armed, the board is straight up in the air. This one, the board lays flat on the ground, so it's not as noticeable. And as you can see, you need level one home defense to use the spike board. That is, and agility, it needs to be level, at least level one, mine's level two, but make sure that you have that card to use the spike board. Okay. You got the spike board down. You want to put your generator on top of it. And this one requires a 10, right? Yeah, requires 10. That one's a 5, that one's a 10. You can use this one, but I use this one just because it's easier to put on the spike board. Now, on the spike board, see the coil at the end? What you're going to do is you're going to put the generator on it and you need to put it so it pops over that coil. See how you can see it move up? And there it is. Now you want to connect it so it's running and come over here to trigger the spike the spike board and it makes your generator disappear okay i hope you liked my tutorial today and i hope to see a lot less wires around camps in the future if there's anything specific you want to learn about, let me know in comments and I'll try making a tutorial on it. Please like and subscribe to my video and share it as much as possible. Have a great day, everybody.